Dear students, welcome to the video lecture class of Theory of Computations. In this video, lecture video, we are going to discuss about deterministic finite automata. This is Dr. K. Praveen Kumar, Assistant Professor, Department of IT, Kips Farangal. Right. Today's in this lecture video, we are going to discuss about deterministic finite automata. As I have uh, told you in the previous lecture videos, uh, John E. Hopcroft and Raju Motwan and Jeffrey D. Ullman is the prescribed textbook and textbook purchasing of textbook is mandatory. Lecture level learning uh, outcome after completion of this lecture video, you will be able to apply the concepts of deterministic finite automata under the given string. Before going to that, we already discussed what is finite automata in the previous classes. So finite automata is of uh, two types. One is deterministic finite automata, deterministic finite automata and non-deterministic finite automata. Generally, finite automata is a fightable and uh, we already discussed this. What are these fightables? Q is a, a states, number of uh, states in the automata. Sigma is a finite uh, set of symbols called input alphabets. And, uh, gamma is a transition function and Q naught is the initial state. EF is a final state. So coming to deterministic finite automata, what we are going to discuss in this uh, lecture video. Deterministic finite automata is also a fightable and uh, same elements, the fightables are same. Capital Q is a final uh, finite uh, state of internal states and uh, sigma is a set of input uh, symbols or input alphabets. And uh, gamma is a, a transition function. Generally, it is calculated over uh, the number of states by uh, number of input alphabets so that you will get a new transition state. And Q naught is an initial state and uh, F is a set of final state. So this is uh, deterministic finite automata. After completion of this, we will discuss about non-deterministic finite automata. Deterministic finite automata, we can say it's a one-way uh, infinite tape broken into uh, different cells. So these are the different cells which is broken and uh, one way it starts from uh, left to right or right to left. and uh, one way and uh, it is having a read only uh, tape head. This is the tape head and uh, finite control, finite number of states. You are going to move from one state to another state or based on the transition function. Um, a program contain the position of the read head. For this read head, it will be having a uh, program and the current symbol being scanned and that is the current state and the string is placed on the tape and the read head is positioned at the uh, left end and the DFA will read the string one symbol at a time all symbol until all symbols have been read complete the string it will uh, read and the DFA will then either accept or reject the string so output is either accept or reject there is only two things it is going to give you DFA so the formal definition of uh, DFA is it's a a fightable automata, finite automata, and uh, Q is a finite set of states that is Q1, Q2, Q3, and so on. And, uh, sigma is a input uh, alphabets or numbers, whatever it may be. And the Q0 is an initial state or start state. F is a final state or accepting state. And uh, uh, gamma is a transition function. So comma is always number of states cross sigma, that is input symbols. 
so uh, it is equals to some state of q dash in the q could be q dash is equals to q so examples are now we're going to discuss about examples huh? dfa now we'll try to learn how to construct a dfa for the given input so here the example is dfa with input symbol sigma over 0 comma 1 accepts all strings with zeros the strings which are having only zeros can be accepted so for this we have to construct the dfa so before going to dfa we have to uh, remember one thing that initial state will be like this and for one state if you are giving there is only one input to enter into the another state and one more thing is if we are giving if you want to travel to other state there must be only one input and if you are giving one input that will tends to only one uh, particular state so the solution for this one is see uh, the input is here zeros and ones are the input symbols and which accepts all starting with zero that is zero one one or uh, zero one zero 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 one everything whatever it may be it starts with only with zero that must be we have to construct coming to the solution so this we can say so uh, this is the start state q naught and uh, when you give symbol a zero it will go to the final state final state and if i give if my string is starts with one zero zero it should not go to the final state so that is the reason i am giving this input here as one and if it will go to the q2 so if it is a zero one one then it will go to the final state zero or one right so this kind of states are called as uh, dead state dead state or you can also call it as trap trap so in this way you can construct dfa so the next one is dfa with uh sigma zero one the input symbols are zero and one and accepts all strings which are ends with zero that is uh, you can say that zero one zero zero one zero uh one zero zero one r it, it is over uh, if we take uh, two strings uh zero zero ending with zero and uh, one zero and um, zero one is not possible only zero zero one zero and uh, this should not be accepted zero one this should not be accepted and this should be accepted so for that we have to draw the deterministic finite automata so pause this video and try to get the solution and this is the output for this uh, dfa so it's there is no rule for the starting only the thing is zero with the zero there is a rule so if it is ending with zero q naught to q1 you are giving one zero if ending state is zero so if it is a zero zero then you are giving the input here and if it is a double zero then we have to go for self loop and if it is ending with one then you are sending it back to the initial state and if it's starting with the one then it you are giving it to the starting loop as self loop so lecture level problem construct dfa over an alphabet uh, input symbol zero and one that accept the strings ending with zero and zero you please uh, try to solve this problem so having completed discussion on deterministic finite and beta, you are able to apply the DFA concepts and identify the strings which are acceptable by the 
languages. So lecture level question, list and identify the elements required for the design of finite automata. So this is all about uh, uh, deterministic finite automata. Thank you.